hey guys this is amit here so today in this video i will tell you how you guys can go ahead and record a video in a macro so i mean guys i'm gonna start from the beginning so that's going to be quite easy for the beginners that how they can record a video it's very simple no vba coding is needed to learn nothing like that you simply have to listen this video carefully how i'm gonna do this and what i'm gonna do this and how i'm gonna record this video all right so i will start from here to simply record a macro and you see how i'm gonna do this you'll be happy to learn it <laughs> that's going to be quite easy okay so you can see that guys that i got this data here i have this data all right and let's do one thing i'm gonna come to the next sheet you can see here so i am using a microsoft excel 2010 all right if you also have the same so how you gonna do this i mean the macro of course works in other excels as well in other microsoft excel sheets as well but i am using microsoft excel 2010 so i'm just telling you okay so let's come to this tab which you can see on the top by name of view i'm gonna click on this and you see in the right uh, right top corner macros i'm gonna click on that now you can see guys you have a three options over here view macros record macro and use relative reference right use relative reference that means this is going to be a backend work that is going to record the things like the work which you're going to do the work which you're going to do in your macro book it will be recording for the next uh, next content you can say next sales you can say so you see how i'm going to work on this okay and record macro of course you understand how you're going to record so before starting what you have to do you have to click uh, use a relative reference if you want to know what is that in a descriptive way you're going to come you're going to come here and go through this all that message is coming up all right i'm going to click on this first all right now you can see i have click on that one and now again i will come to this and record a macro so i'm going to click record a macro now you can see it is asking me to record a name i mean what name you want to give so let me give a name the channel name odyssey technologies okay and now here it says short key so what short key you're gonna prefer to make so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna select p but you see if you're gonna select p you would be confused because control p is for basically to give a print so what we have to do press shift and then press p control shift and p all right now you can see this you would not be confused the next tab it says that store macro in the same workbook yes in the same workbook not a new one and description like the description whatever you want to give like how you're going to do and whatever you want to mention up over here right so let me put here testing purpose okay and let me click okay so name that you entered is not valid oh i'm sorry so i have given a space so there is no way that we can put a space so guys remember that you do not have to put a space so let me click ok now you can see this look at the button at the bottom left corner it says ready and do you see this button at the bottom that means the recording has been started so now whatever you're going to do it all will be recorded in the sheet so let's start let's suppose guys if i would like to make a uh, i would like to make a small box let's start okay what we have to do let me come to this tab and okay let me select this box and border and let me organize that okay let's start it here i'm gonna put name and phone number alternate phone number all right email address and i would let me put a score and designations okay grades it's just an example that i'm giving you you can make a small you can make a a big one it's just an example all right and let me come to this one over here location tracked that means yes or no whatever the answer is going to be from the employees or from the team and uh, let me put here country okay so this is the performer that we have to make now i want to do something here i made this performer and it's getting recorded all right what is the use of a macro see i made this uh, performer right i made this column i made this box i made it 
so that I can save my time. So whenever I would require to make this kind of performer to uh, this kind of data work, right? I do not have to do this thing again and again. What I'm going to do, I'm going to simply press a short key that we made that I made in front of you and it all will be done automatically because it all has been recorded. So now what we're going to do, I'm going to stop recording. You see at the bottom, I'm going to click over here. A macro is currently recording. I'm going to click stop. Now it has been stopped. All right. There is another way to stop it. You can come to the view tab on the top and click macro and view macro you're going to do. All right. Now you see all these options over here. So guys, we made us uh, we made a short key that we can use now and either you can click a run to run this macro and set up info edit you can edit the formula inside or like edit the formula that means whatever the work we have done over here it all has been recorded in the coding okay so you want to make any changes in that inside you can go to this tab edit and do it delete if you click delete this macro will be deleted all right so now what we have to do i'm not going to do anything and we'll come to the next sheet all right now you can see this guys over here i have come here so i'm gonna i'm gonna put my cursor over here and remember short key let me put that short key control shift np right you can see all macro is coming up here so guys i think it's very easy right don't think that it's uh, too tricky and it you have to learn coding or something like that no no way you just have to do this like this right let me come to the next one now let's suppose if you forgot that short key then how are you gonna do so come to the view tab click this macro view macro and click on run if you click run again this will be a performer so that means you can save your time okay now the question is guys you just made this macro over here and if you would like to delete this macro how you gonna do this again the same thing come to the tab come to this macro view macro and delete this macro all right delete it yes i want to delete the macro i have deleted this macro let me close this sheet 